Hi there, this is Dr. Evan Osar, author of Corrective Exercise Solutions and co-creator of Two Anatomy Geeks, where this week we're finishing up part three of our three-part series. So why is this information important and how can it help you be the specialist for your clients? Well, we're just discussing, <laughs> we're discussing shoulder issues in Two Anatomy Geeks. I should say we're discussing the rotator cuff and as part of the rotator cuff, we're discussing why so many of our older clients specifically have rotator cuff tears. Because there's a study that came out that said, they actually looked at MRI studies on older individuals that did not have any shoulder symptoms. So like no shoulder symptoms, so no pain, and yet 40% of them had rotator cuff issues. Now, here's what I wanna want you to think about if you work with older clients. And you probably do because you're part of our community. So thank you so much for being part of our community. Thank you for allowing me to share this information with you and for joining me here today. I see my buddy Raul. What's up, buddy? From India. Always on. Always love seeing your face and your name come up, Rahul. So why is this so important? Because even though your clients have no pain and no symptoms, do you really think if they have a rotator cuff tear, their shoulder is actually functioning well? Because think about your older clients. How many of them actually do well lifting your arm overhead. Now, when we talk about older clients, older is relative, because here I am, I'm about to have a birthday, oof, next week. You can see the gray in my beard, actually my, my, my buddy Robert Lincoln, his daughter's like, wow, your beard is so white. I'm like, yep. My wife, is, if she's watching this, she's like, shave that thing off. Don't come home to Chicago, I mean, Chicago, we don't live in Chicago anymore. Don't come home to Wisconsin with that thing on your face, but anyway. Think about your, your older clients, including clients my age that are coming in to see you. Let's check out range of motion. This is why range of motion and shoulder flexion is such a powerful assessment. It's very easy to do, it's easy to look, it's, it's easy to see the compensations, whether you're in person and or doing a virtual consultation, which we're doing tons of right now. So let's take a look here, and we'll take a look and, so yeah, not so great for me. So that's not great. So now think about your clients that don't have great range of motion, like me, okay? Now, you want to do some overhead motions, like triceps extensions. So here, I'll take my little band, and what's going to happen with somebody like me to get my arm overhead to do triceps extensions? I don't have full range of motion to get my upper arm perpendicular, I should say, in line with my body, so I have to compensate. Or, I have to do something and jack my neck and shoulders up. So let's see what would happen if I did a tricep extension with this band, knowing I have this range of motion. I would have to grab this and go overhead. So just, it could be a, a resistance band cable. And if you look what I have to do to get my arms up and vertical, I have to over arch my back. So again, over stretching the abdominal wall, abdominal wall, psoas, over extending my back. And now I can do my tricep extensions. But the problem is my rib cage is not even in a good position and I'm just reinforcing all the bad posture. Now, and issues. The other thing that happens is our clients don't have great range of motion to keep their shoulders apart out here where they belong. So therefore, in order to get, to get their hands on this cable or a dumbbell, if they're holding a dumbbell, their arms have to go out here like this. Guess what position that is? If you took, get, got rid of the band, well, they're actually like this. So they're in full flexion and internal rotation. Guess what position will cr crush your, rotator, your client's rotator cuff? Well, full internal rotation and flexion. It's as if you took a dumbbell like this and you're doing this right here and expecting that to help your client's shoulders. So again, not great patterns for many of our clients that have limited shoulder range of motion, which most of our clients are doing. What's up? Pete, my best friend from back home, my brother, who's got massive arms, massive shoulders, and he can actually show you how to do some things right around the shoulders. So anyway, so what are you gonna do with your clients that have limited range of motion? Well, number one, overhead range of motion, overhead exercises, I should say, aren't great options for your clients. So you can do a lying tricep extension much better. You can do other versions like that. So let's just set that up and show what that would look like for our clients. Well, first you have to align their head and neck. First you have to align their thoracal pelvic cylinder and get the rib cage aligned over top of the pelvis. Now you want your clients to create that long or wide shoulder position. That's why they put shoulder pads and suit jackets and a lot of jackets so you look broader and wider like you should be. Your collarbone should go out wide, but unfortunately many of our clients are like this. They're narrow and then we try to fix that by squeezing down and back, but that's still, if you look, is still narrow. We need space underneath the arms. We need that collarbone, those clavicles to go wide. 
Now just grab a band, if you've got one handy, grab a band, grab a, even, you can even use a bathrobe or a belt or resistance tubing, whatever you got. Now bend your arms up, so your arms, your client's arms should be about, your hands I should say, should be about shoulder width apart. So that way I'm creating and maintaining that long collarbone, that width across my collarbones. And if you notice how much space I have underneath my arms. So doing triceps and biceps with the elbows tucked into the body, not great, because you already see what happens to my shoulders when I do that. I go wide and my arms cannot be by my side just because of the nature of my anatomy. Some of your clients, their arms will be closer to their side, but many of your clients, they need to have a space in here so they're not crushing your scapula back and down, which will then ultimately lead to rotator cuff issues. So from here, now you can do, as you're lying down, your triceps extension would look like that. From behind, you'd see this, so you're in good alignment from behind versus where most of your clients are is with that narrow grip and they're doing that, which is creating that impingement. So create that width, maintain that position as they're doing the triceps. But basically, this is the same position for bicep curls. So if you're doing bicep curls, I'll just step on this band, it's the same alignment. Long spine, create that width across the collarbones and then curl up so that you maintain and reinforce the scapular position. Because to us in the integrative movement system and, and, and as integrative movement specialists, biceps and triceps exercises, which we love to do, our clients love to do them, so we include them, are scapular stabilization exercises. I'll say that again, it's very important. Biceps and triceps are not to tone the arms, even though our clients, that's, what we, that's why we do them for the clients, so they feel like, oh, we're toning my arms, so that's great. You know, I'm gonna get rid of this, which we know that that will never work. However, for us, when we're training our clients, we program them in because our clients want to do them. So we're giving them a little bit of what they want. However, we're also giving them what they need. Because to us, I can do a bicep and tricep exercise with, with my clients and actually at the same time help them improve scapular stability, shoulder position, as well as reinforce the posture I want them to be in. And when you, give, when you can marry what your clients want, better toned arms and to feel like they're working their arms, with what they need, actually improved alignment and control of their scapula and thoracopelvic cylinder, as well as their head and neck, that's a win-win. That's how you become the go-to specialist in your area where you help your client actually address the issues causing many of their rotator cuff issues, and you attract more individuals that need, wants, and will pay you for your expertise. This is Dr. Evan Osar. I'm gonna invite you to join us. This, this Saturday is part three of our th three-part series on Tune in the geeks. We're discussing the rotator cuff. We've already discussed the four rotator cuff muscles: supra, infra, subscapularis, and teres minor. Subscapularis, <laughs> supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. This week we cover biceps brachii, which is a fifth rotator cuff muscle because it does blend through the joint capsule. It attaches into the glenoid fossa via the labrum. Or I should say it also blends into the labrum. So it's a very powerful and important, I should say stabilizer of the anterior shoulder or the front side of the shoulder. So we're going to cover that. We're, we're going to cover many shoulder, I should say, bicep and tricep exercises and show you how to assess them, how to use corrective exercises to improve alignment and control, and how to train your clients safely and effectively. Mary will put the link next to or below this video wherever you're watching this. We would love to see you on Two Anatomy Geeks. If you missed the first two parts, no problem. We record all, all of them. It's about probably five to six hours in content. It's only $49, like literally $49. We're gonna get CDCs for it later in this year once we do all the, you know, all jump through all the hoops that we need to jump through for CDCs. So it's a great way to learn anatomy, a really fun, exciting way. Like we love what our community says, like this is one of the most fun ways I've ever learned anatomy. Somebody came through a, another big anatomy program and they said to us, they wrote in, they're like, I so wish I'd taken your course before I took that course. That course would have made so much more sense understanding the information you're sharing. You and Jill are sharing my other anatomy geek on Two Anatomy Geeks. So thank you for watching. Raul, you're on there. I know you, you love that series as well. Thank you for being on there. Thank you for, for saying so many good things about it. Great way to learn anatomy. Great way to learn assessment, corrective exercise, in a very small chunks of information so that it's very readily available. Because one of the things Jill and I want to do with this series and we, we've worked really hard is, it's not just anatomy, like, hey, go learn anatomy, good, good luck figuring out how to use it. 
No, no, no. We want you to understand the anatomy so you have a foundation for what you do. And then we want you to, to understand the assessments, the same assessments we teach in the Integrated Movement Special Certification course, which Raul is a part of, and also the corrective exercises that will help your clients improve that area of the body and those specific muscles. And again, we're not trying to say that this muscle, the biceps and triceps, are the most important muscles. However, they're very important for shoulder function. So we'll teach you the anatomy, how to assess, how to use corrective exercises, and also, also how to incorporate that or integrate that into the fundamental movement patterns that your clients need to do to look better. Because many of your clients come to you because they want to look better. Regardless of their age, where they're at, they want to look better. However, many of your clients want to feel better. They want to move better so that they can feel better. They want to feel better. And we know, you and I know, that they need to move better so that they feel better. So we teach you that as well. So we love our Two Anatomy Geeks community, and we would love for you to join us if that is something you're interested in. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them down next to this video, wherever you're watching it, and we look forward to you answering them. And we'll see you next time. This is Dr. Evan Osar with the Integrative Movement Institute. I'm about to go off and do some consulting, actually, on the shoulder. We're gonna work, look at a couple older clients with shoulder issues, and then I'm going to train my friend Jackie's trainers do some in-house training for them, teaching them about the shoulder and how to reprogram their programs for their older adult clients using these concepts. Thanks. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Thanks for everybody that's being on and watching. See you next time.